Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this Moving Ears Panda Bear hat. It is so cute and makes a perfect gift. This pattern is part of a very special event called the Advent Calendar Crochet Along Volume 2. It has a mystery feature to it because you don't know which pattern I will be publishing each day. The entire event has 30 crochet patterns. 24 of them will be available free to view on my website. But again, you don't know which one. The 24 patterns will also be available in my membership at Free and Printer Friendly. You can also get those on Ravelry and Etsy as a PDF. All 30 crochet patterns include a video tutorial. If you want to get all 30 crochet patterns ad free and printer friendly, then get my ebook at the link down below in the description or my website. All 30 crochet patterns are last minute gift ideas. The entire event is sponsored by Premier Yarns. Now let's get started with today's quick crochet pattern. In order to get started, you're going to need some worsted yarn. I'm using Premier's Just Yarn Value. 100% acrylic in the color white, um, bl white, black, and a little bit of blue. We're also, we're also going to use a four millimeter crochet hook. Plus you're going to need two air pumps. I have a link for them in the material section of the pattern. Because white is hard to see on camera, I'm going to show you how to crochet the beanie in orange. To get started, start with a magic ring, chain one just to secure the ring, it doesn't count as a stitch or anything. Now we're going to add an alternative turning chain, so I'm using the stacked single crochet, so make a single crochet. Now insert your hook into the loop that's closest to your yarn finger, yarn over and pull through. Now yarn over and pull through. So you made two single crochets stacked on top of each other, counting as a double crochet, and right on top here that V right here is where you insert your hook in the next round. Now add 11 more double crochets to the ring. Now close the ring. Now slip stitch to the first stitch. I like to do the invisible way. So I remove my hook from my loop. I insert it into the first stitch from the back to the front. And now I am pulling my loop back. Now let's go to the next round. Crochet an alternative turning chain again. And then add another double crochet to the same stitch. Now crochet two double crochets all the way around per stitch. In the next round, go ahead and continue increasing. So start with an alternative turning chain in the first stitch. And then in the next stitch, you're going to crochet two double crochet stitches. Then one double crochet, and then a following stitch, two double crochets. Now go ahead and repeat that all around. One double crochet, then two double crochets. In the following round, crochet one alternative turning chain in the first stitch. Again, it counts as a double crochet. Then a double crochet in the following stitch, and then two double crochets in the next one. Now you're going to repeat that, but only with double crochets. So one double crochet in the next two stitches and then two double crochets in the following. Do this all the way around. Again, slip stitch to the first stitch. Now in the following round, we're going to crochet again an alternative turning chain and then one double crochet in the next two more stitches. So we have three double crochets in a row, one per stitch, and then two double crochets in the next one. Now you repeat that one double crochet in the next three stitches, then two double crochets all the way around. Slip stitch to the first stitch and we're going to do one more row of increases. Remember this pattern is written for an adult size. If you want to make this smaller, the only way to do that is to use currently a reference table that I attach to the written pattern. The reason I made it for adult size only is because of the air pumps. So just want you to be aware of that. So in the next round of increases, we're going to crochet 
four double crochets in a row. The first one is an alternative turning chain. So one per stitch and then an increase. Then you repeat that. One double crochet in the next four stitches and then two double crochets in the following stitch. Do this all the way around. Now slip stitch again to the first stitch. Now we're going to crochet just double crochet stitches. You're gonna crochet just double crochet stitches, so no increases or anything for nine rounds. So one double crochet per stitch. Always start with an alternative turning chain in every row. Now let's pretend I just did nine rounds because it's just the same stitch over and over again. I'm just going to show you the main important parts of the pattern. So let's pretend I did nine rounds of just double crochet stitches. You're now going to add the arms where the air pumps are in. So start with an alternative turning chain and then crochet eight more double crochets after that. You're gonna have nine double crochets in a row, one of them being the alternative turning chain. Now you're going to do an extension onto it for nine more double crochets, but we're gonna use the chainless foundation row. So that means we're going to make a chain and the double crochet at the same time. So let me show you. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as you just made your last stitch, yarn over and pull through. You made now a chain right here. So yarn over and pull through. So now you can see it obviously. So here's that chain for the chainless foundation row. Now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So you made your chain down here and a double crochet on top. So now let's do that again. Insert your hook into that chain that you just made, yarn over and pull through. You made your chain here, yarn over and pull through. Now you work on your stitch. Yarn over and pull through two, through two. So we made now two double crochets. So now continue until you have nine additional ones. So after you made your nine over here, you're making nine additional ones, you're gonna have 18 in a row. And then we're gonna go in rounds. Once you're done and you have 18 stitches in total, you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch again, just like you've done before. And now you're going to go in double crochet rows, one per stitch, always the first one being the alternative turning chain, for 18 more rounds. So that means with the one that you just made, it'll be 19 rounds of just double crochet stitches, one stitch per stitch. Now let's pretend I just did 19 rounds in total, including the first round. Now we're going to do some increases. In the very first increasing round, you're gonna do an alternative turning chain. Again, it counts as a double crochet. Then you're gonna do one more double crochet, and then you're gonna do an increase of two double crochets. Now you're going to repeat that. One double crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase. Do this until the end of the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch as per normal and now you're gonna crochet two rounds of just double crochet stitches, always having the alternative turning chain counting as a double crochet as your very first stitch. Once you're done, you're now going to do decreases. So you're going to do an alternative turning chain unfinished for the very first stitch. So you're not yarning over and going through one more time. So you're gonna leave it unfinished. And then yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. That's an unfinished double crochet. So we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through. That is your decrease. So now let's do a regular double crochet decrease. Over two stitches, you having two unfinished double crochet stitches, yarn over and pull through. Now go ahead and do this all the way around in every stitch. Once you're done, you can fasten off and now you're going to weave through over here through all the stitches and you're going to close up this hole. So put your yarn on a needle and weave through every stitch back and forth. You can also just go through the front loops of all the stitches, it's up to you. And once you've woven it all the way through, pull, 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 and now go ahead and weave in your ends and sew it all closed. Once you're done, it's gonna look like this. I know it's very hard to see on camera, but this is the beanie part of it, and it's done now. Now let's focus on the face. You're going to make two ears, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in beige because it's a little bit easier to see. In order to crochet the nose, we're gonna use some linen. Start with a magic ring, chain one to secure the ring. 
Now add six single crochets to the ring and close the ring. Use a stitch marker, add two single crochets to each stitch all the way around. In the following round, crochet one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all the way around. In the next round, crochet one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all the way around. In the next round, crochet one single crochet in the next three stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Go ahead and do this all the way around. So once you have done the increase round, you're now just going to crochet one single crochet into each stitch for eight rounds and you're going to do this twice to have the ears. Now you're going to crochet the nose, but again it's white, so I'm going to show you how to do the increases in beige. In order to crochet the nose, we're going to use some linen. Start with a magic ring, chain one to secure the ring. Now add six single crochets to the ring and close the ring. Use a stitch marker, add two single crochets to each stitch all the way around. In the following round, crochet one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all the way around. In the next round, crochet one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all the way around. In the next round, crochet one single crochet in the next three stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Go ahead and do this all the way around. Once you're done with the increases, you're going to crochet three more rounds of single crochets, one stitch per stitch. Then you're done with the main mouth. And then with black, again, it's super hard to see, you're going to make a magic ring, chain three, and then add three double crochets into the ring, close the ring, and that's going to be your little triangle. And then we just have to add the lines on the bottom in black. Now let me teach you how to crochet these eyes. There are three pieces to each eye, and then you're gonna need a little bit of white in order to make like two little shiny spots. So because again, black is super hard to see, I'm gonna show you all three parts using blue. So let's get started. Start with a magic ring, chain one to secure the ring, and now add six single crochets to the ring, then close the ring. Now add two single crochets per stitch all the way around. So once you're done, you are done with the very first one. So you would make this part in black. For the blue one, you're gonna repeat that process and we're gonna add one more round to it. So you're going to do one single crochet and then a next stitch, two single crochets all the way around. Then you're done with the, these two. We just have to sew the black onto the blue, but first we're going to make the little lines. But before we get there, let's make this big one right here, which is again, super hard to see. I'm and I'm gonna show it to you how to do it in blue. So make a magic ring, chain one, add eight single crochets to the ring, and then close the ring, slip stitch to the first stitch. Now you're gonna crochet two half double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Now three double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Now the next three stitches, you're gonna crochet two half double crochets each. In the next stitch, crochet three double crochet stitches. And in a, over the last two stitches, you're gonna crochet two half double crochets each. Now slip stitch to the first stitch. Now crochet one single crochet. Then the next stitch, two single crochets. In the next stitch, one single crochet. Now you're going to crochet three double crochet stitches. In the next stitch, two single crochet stitches. In the next stitch, one single crochet stitch. Then two single crochets in the following. One, then two, one, then two, one, and two. And then in the following, crochet three double crochet stitches. 
Now we're going to do back and forth again, one single crochet, then two single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets. And then the very last stitch, one single crochet. Then slip stitch and you're done. Now it's time to put it all together. So you're going to first take your air pump and you're going to squeeze it through your arm here. So just push it in. This is why we didn't close up this hole over here. And now you're just going to squeeze it through like you would if you're putting on socks. Once you've done it for both sides, it's time to squeeze it through here. So you're going to count down to row five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where you're going to push this through. So just squeeze it right through but you're not gonna push it all the way through. You're going to do it halfway, about like this, such that half of it is showing out. And you're gonna do this on the other side too. And now you need to sew everything on. So the ears are going to be placed over there, over those air pumps, and you're gonna go in a circle around it and sew it on. You're not gonna go through two layers, you're gonna go through one layer of the black so that way you can always take out the air pump if you wish to and you're going to do this for both ears i'm going to leave one out for now so that you can see the face you're going to sew on the mouth you're going to take your little triangle and first sew it on right here and then you're going to make those lines so let me show you how that looks like once it's sewn on and it's going to look like this now you're going to sew this piece on and about three quarter of the way through, you're going to stuff it and finish up sewing. For the white parts of the eye, you're going to take some white and you're going to sew it through just like so. It's very easy. Just make two little lines like this and then on the other side as well, like this. And then you have two lines on each. Once you're sewing this on, then it's time to sew the eyes. So you're just going to sew all the layers together and now you're just going to sew them right on here. So I'm going to sew the eyes on now and then the ears and then we're done. And once you're done, it's gonna look like this and I'm gonna squeeze here, see the ears are moving and they're in here. It is super duper cute, adorable little panda for anyone who wants to wear it and have fun. You're now done with your panda with moving ears. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I publish a new video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. I'm sure you want to. I'll see you next time. Bye.